more evidence of Galbraith's development because he's got some senior recognition with uh, with Ireland. Yeah, I think he deserves it. I think he's been excellent. Um, his two performances against uh, Cheltenham and um, Cambridge were, were really, really good. Everything about what he's good at, and then obviously he went to Charlton, and it was a little bit different to what he's used to. Um, so we asked him to, to react well from that in, in, in the crew game and win second balls and get himself in defensively good positions and make good decisions to hook things on when he needed to. And I thought he'd done that. So we have no doubt that he's going to be a really, really good player. He deserves it. I'm really happy for him. Um, and it's good that he keeps developing. We've got two, two midfield players who are very, very young that are both starting out in, in, in the game in terms of himself and Matt Smith. And then um, you need to get a balance right now. We've asked them to play and they played, but they forgot the second balls. And we asked him to get the second balls and he just a little bit forget to play. So one, as he continued to develop and then he balanced both of them, I think both of them have got terrific futures. So I'm really pleased with him. My thinking is Lincoln. So we're going to look at a few things. What will we'll take the planning ahead to the Lincoln game. Um, but I always enjoy the first round of the FA Cup. I think it's a great spectacle. It's, a, it's a, one of them days for the supporters to enjoy like it is for the third round of the FA Cup. I think there's two special dates in the calendar, so we'll look forward to it. It can take the pressure off a little bit, but it can also get us. So we've, we've, we've lost to a really good Charlton team, one in four. We need to start, by the time Lincoln comes, can we go, we've lost one in six and start getting some momentum going.